What is up my YouTube family? It is Curtis Wayne. Today we're doing a tutorial. I had a subscriber ask me, how do I record audio using the eight tracks in the MPCX? So we're gonna take a look at that today. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. There's plenty of videos on YouTube already that show you what to do, how to do it, how it's set up. Uh, I watched a guy named Poli Popo. Um, I learned some of the steps from him Basically, I learned how to stretch the bars. You know how you only can choose like two bars, four bars, eight bars? It's a way to stretch that so that way you can do your full verse. So for instance, if you're doing a 16 bar verse, you need to have 32 bars. If you're doing a 12 bar verse, you need to have what, 24 bars. So I'll show you guys how to do that. And um, basically just how I track in because the, the key is that you can use one track for your main vocal. So if you're doing three verses, you can have all three of those verses on one track. You don't have to use a new track each time you do a verse. That's how you stack your vocals. So you can have one track, call it verses, and have all your verses across that one track. Then you can do a second track, and if you wanna double that verse up, you can call that doubles, and then do a full run of doubles for all verses on that one track then you can do your ad-libs then you go on to track four and do chorus and do the same thing record your chorus across all sections that it needs to be recorded then go ahead and double it then you can go ahead and do ad-libs and then you still have two extra tracks to do anything extra that you want to do all right so let's take a look at the mpc i have my camera set up it's aimed and focused in right on the mpc screen hopefully it's not too grainy like I said, man, as my channel grows, more people subscribe, more people support what I do. That's why I make sure you comment, make sure you like this video, make sure you share it with your friends, you know, so that way I can gain more subscribers and gain more of an audience. And don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Don't just watch the video and like it. Please subscribe as well. I appreciate you greatly. But um, as time grows, as time goes on and my channel grows, I will invest into buying better equipment to record better videos. But for now, iPhone 11 and this old school Canon camera, it gets the job done for now. All right. So we're going to take a look here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just there's no need for me to open a project or anything like that. But I'll show you guys here. So up here this is where you have your tracks your bars two bars you know you can keep going all the way up infinitely right so basically you make your track so you produce your beat in the mpc most people are going to use four bars or eight bars i mainly use eight bars right so the beat is already produced and laid out in an eight bar format so in order to stretch that because if, if, for instance, if I had a beat playing, let me just load a track up. I'll just load something here. I guess I'll do that for sake of this video, you know. So we'll go in here. And we'll just load a program quick, fast. Project. So let's just go to alone. This is one that I recorded. All right, so it's loading up. And like I said, I'm gonna just show you guys how to um, stretch the bars out. And that's really basically all you need to know. I mean, I'll show you too, like what I use to you know, on the track coming in on the recording. But for instance, so we have this here. So I'm at 155 BPM and this is at four bars. So I made this beat at four bars. So since I made it at four bars, I needed 32 bars to record a 16 bar verse. If I had recorded it in eight bars, I would have only needed 16 uh, bars. You know, I would have just been doubling that eight bars, doubling that up, and it would have been 16. So since I use four bars right here, 
I needed to have 32 bars in order to stretch a full verse. So basically for that, all you do is you come in here, you select your bars, you select the little pencil tool on the top there. All right, right here where it says intro, you know, your main sequence screen, the first one up at the top here, you go to the pencil tool, you click that. And then this right here where it says double length, you hit that. Like I said, if it's four bars, you're gonna wanna hit that until you have 32 bars. And it'll show you how many bars you have right here when you go to a verse. So this says intro, I'm gonna take this to a verse. So this is the verse. V1 is my verse, 32 bars right there. So you wanna hit that until you have, like I said, if it's a four bar, if you use four bars to produce the beat, then you wanna have 32 bars here. If you used eight bars to produce your beat, you want 16 right there. And all you have to do is, like I said, go into that pencil tool, hit that double length, and it's gonna stretch it out. It's gonna stretch your music. It's gonna stretch it for that length so that way you can rap to the whole beat. Also, another thing too is if like you if you have drops and you want to add certain drops or you have a bridge, you're going to have to record that. So once you record the vocal, <laughs> you're going to have to sit, re-record again, and then hit your drop. So if you want to drop the 808 out for like two bars and bring it back in, you're going to have to record all that stuff on the fly as you're doing it, you know, which makes it a little intricate when you're recording with the MPC. And that's why I wouldn't recommend utilizing the MPC is just your go-to DAW for recording vocals. I do it because I don't have a computer set up at the moment, you know, running Pro Tools or Logic or Reason or, or, some, or FL Studio, whatever DAW you may use. I don't have a DAW right now. This is my DAW, my MPC. So if I'm feeling creative, I'll utilize the MPC just to kind of get my idea out. And I actually just did the test to see how good it actually sounds. And it actually sounds pretty good. If you really put some time and effort into it, you can record a full project with this MPC. All right, so that's how you do that. You go into the pencil tool, you hit your double length, and like I said, 32 bars if you recorded your beat or produced your beat with four bars, 16 bars if you recorded your beat using eight bars. All right, so on that, we'll go to audio. So we have audio. So this is my main vox, my main vocal track, right? As you can see here, you see the vocal, I recorded it. The vocal is recorded in. And you can do your edits if you wanna to try to really sit and fine tune. You have your pencil tool, you know, your eraser, your scissors. You can really sit and cut in between each little part. It's gonna be super tedious if you do that. But like I said, if you really, if this is all you have, an MPCX, and you wanna record a project, you're an artist and a producer, or if you're just a producer and you wanna record artists, you can use this machine to accomplish that goal, most definitely. Hands down, you can, you can use this machine. It's a professional machine and you can use it to accomplish what you want. So let's go back in here. So, okay, on my main track, we'll go here. So I have in my uh, insert effects, uh, my effects inserts. So before, so pre-vocal, I put the air compressor on there for control and then I also put the reverb I put reverb I always make sure those two are on there pre recording so I make sure I have compression to control the peaks the pops because there's no de -er in here for one so I want to control the peaks I want to control the pops and I basically use my mixer I have a Midas um, a Midas 16 channel mixer. I have my microphone plugged in on channel channel 12 and then that's an all analog mixer. So it has an EQ on there. So I can EQ my vocal. I could take the bass out, cut some of the mids, some of the highs, whatever I need to do to make my vocal sound the way I want it to sound for me. I can start at the mixer. And then that mixer is connected to the MPC on channels one and two. And then I could just record. So all I have to do is engage channel 12 on the mixer, I have the mixer hooked up chat to channels one and two on the MPC. Make sure I have that engaged on the MPC. Set it up to the rear because I'm coming in through the rear of the MPC. I'm not using the front ports on the front. And you have the switches to do that. If you have an MPC X, you know how to do all that stuff. 
And then after that post vocal, then I'll put other effects. Like I did an EQ, another EQ on there to take, to further cut out bass. Um, if it's something that's too high, whatever, so on and so forth. And then I'll put the maximizer. You can, you can, you can utilize whatever plugins you want to use, whatever inserts you want to use, you use those how you feel. You know, I just recommend using a compressor. You don't even have to put reverb if you don't want to, but most engineers utilize reverb and compression on vocals. So why not just attack it right in the beginning to control, you know, your vocal, especially I'm just recording in a room, you know. Yes, I do have some acoustic panels up, but I'm just recording in a room. I'm not in a fully fleshed out, fully um, laid out studio where the acoustics are spot on and so on and so forth. So I'm, I want to make sure I'm controlling that vocal when I'm recording, going right into the MPC. And then that's basically it. Like I said, you have Vox 1 and this has all the verses on this channel. You know, Vox 1 has all the vocal for each verse on here. I'll even show you. See, that says Vox, main Vox. We'll go to Vox Dub. That's track two. So I doubled the verses. And then track three was the um, the hook. I just did little ad lib vocals in there. So small chops, you know, here and there I put in there. Uh, the hook double did the same thing and then the ad libs so I used five tracks six tracks I used in, in here I used six tracks like I said I did my main vox which has verses this song has two verses so verses one and two on my main track which is track one on track two I did a vox double so I just wrapped the verses again just in a lower pitch just to kind of thicken the vocal up. I did verses one and two across that, that same track. And then I went and I did, um, I did uh, ad-libs, Vox ad-libs on track six. I ad-lib verses one and two on track six. And then on tracks three, four, and five, I did the chorus, the hook. Got the main Vox, the hook dub, and then the hook ad-libs. And that's for two verses, like I said, two verses on here, you know, so you can be as creative as you want to be. Um, you know, it's just all up to you. I know I had uh, trouble when I first tried to record uh, vocals. I was like, damn, why can't I get a full 16 recorded? It would only record eight bars and then it'll start looping again. So I had to do some research, went on YouTube, shout out to Poli Popo. Like I said, I found his video and he showed me how or he didn't actually show me, but he had a video demonstrating how to stretch the bars so that you can record a full verse. So I hope that's helpful. I hope you guys man, learn something from this. If you have an MPCX, you know, some of you guys probably do it different. Drop your comments, you know, leave a link to your video. And maybe I can learn from your video, you know, maybe you're really doing some really polished music with your MPC. You know, and that's all you using and that's all you're going to use. <laughs> you know, let me see that. I, I want to be able to see it so that I can uh, um, implement some of those things into my uh, into my workflow as well. Like I said, that's basically it, man. You know, if you have an MPC, you know how to use your inserts. You know how to get to your audio tracks. You know how to to set it up, put your your input, choose your inputs. You know how to choose your outputs. You should know how to do all that stuff. You should know how to... Uh, level your gain you should know how to do all that stuff if you have an mpc already you know but i do know that it can be a little complicated if you don't know how to stretch the uh verses and then some people might say well it's only eight audio tracks and i have three verses how i'm gonna record three verses you know of music well that's how you do it you use verse you just use one track and you record each verse on that one track because in your MPC, you should have scenes. You should have your, your track should be laid out in song mode, right? So you should have your verse one, your hook one, your verse two, your hook two, your verse three, so on and so forth. You should have it already laid out in song mode. You have to have it done in song mode for this to work also. Let me rewind that. Make sure you have your beat laid out in song mode already. 
okay, this is going to be my intro, then this is going to be the verse, then this is going to be the, the, the hook, and then this is going to be chorus two, I mean verse two, and then so on and so forth. And like I said, if you have like bridges and drops and breakdowns, you're going to have to record those. Well, from what I found, like I said, it may be somebody that's an NPC virtuoso out there that really know how to dig deep on it and can teach you how to do all your drops and stuff. But from what I found, you have to record it that way. So once you do your vocal, you have to go back and then just hit the record, let it play through and then drop out your 808, count it for two bars and bring it back in, you know, and do that throughout your song. So hopefully that's helpful, man. Um, I don't want this video to be too long. Like I said, hopefully the video is not grainy. Hopefully you learn something. And like I said, stick with me. The videos will get better. I will continue to bring more content of this nature to this channel. Make sure you comment, you like the video, you share the video and subscribe to my channel. And until the next one, it is Curtis Wayne. Yee.